Dear God, who I'm not entirely convinced actually exists. I'm trying down here. I've recently given up videos of people doing mommy and daddy stuff. Plus, I'm completely done using profanity. Only an idiot needs to use the word fuck or shit or motherfucker or even fucking dick shitting full bitch ass chomo. See God, I'm reformed. I also stopped drawing pictures of big milky mommies. Okay, that last part isn't true, but come on. It's the only thing I'm good at. God, why is it that bad stuff happens? Because you touch yourself at night. And you just let it happen. Why not just get involved? I know, I know. You gave us free will, but people are in pain, and suffering is immense. Listen, Jeffrey Bezos has bent over the corpse of Tolkien, and he's having his way with him. Which, if memory serves, is a sin. Big Milky Mommies are cool, but Necro? Seriously, God, I'm not asking you to save the environment, because I really don't care about it. I only got a few years left at this party called life. So if I have a hard time caring about the ice caps or the three-titted wharf mouse, eh. But why do you continue to let the uncreative people molest the legacy of actual creative people? Look at Kevin Feige. He wouldn't do creativity if it replaced his balls with his eyes and his eyes with his balls. Seriously, Kevin, eat shit. Everyone can eat shit! A big bag of shit! Unless you like that. It wouldn't surprise me. God, you really need to step in here. I know a war is raging right now and people in poor countries are starving, but the old nerd needs you. The old nerds need you. We need you to descend from the heavens and make this shit right. You think I'm kidding? Nah, playa. I'm about to admonish you. So if this is Gandalf, I'm Thor. Oh, I'm also Brock Lesnar, James Bond, and your high school guidance counselor who wonders about your home life. This is mere speculation. I could make a video saying it definitely is, but I'm just covering what I see on the internet. So I could be way off. If time isn't kind to this video, whatever. I can smell this video. Oh, it stinks. Why do so many of these characters look like they bathe in piss and roll in dirt? My favorite part of any fantasy story is when they describe the characters. Gandalf and his wagon smelled of ale and urine. His face covered in smeared dirt. His beard and hair greasy and full of moths. His robe smelling of shit, looking like a potato sack soiled in rat droppings and loneliness. Ah, the memories. I remember when I first read Lord of the Rings as a young lass, I would be whisked into an epic fantasy land of wonder and enthralled by the epic journey of Frodo and the Fellowship. My tiny kid brain would swirl with the possibilities of this fully realized world. By the time I finished Return of the King, I closed the book and thought to myself, I wonder how stinky and dirty those motherfuckers were. <laughs> those orcs probably smelled like Gollum's taint. Aragorn smelled like a cave troll's dick. You get the point. Mr. Bezos, oh, sorry. I'll just call you dickhead. Dickhead, great job. You know, being rich and all and having the power to drag your grizzled old nuts across the foreheads of the lessers. God, I hope this series is good. If not, meh, I'll be watching. I love you very, 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 very much. Good night. Thank you for watching Goblins Unite. Andy Dufresne was a dear friend. I would like you to be a dear friend. Give this old chunk of coal a like and please subscribe. I love you. As Andy loved Raquel Welch's sweet, supple boobies. Good night, motherfucker.